Hello Batman fans, it's Tim here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Batman issue number 23, Zero Year Part 3. So in this comic, the main focus is the Red Hood gang attacking Bruce and Bruce finding his calling, and his calling being becoming the Batman. So the comic starts out with a flashback of Bruce at, uh, falling into the hole, you know, where he gets near the bat cave and the bats fly after him. So, you know, we're getting little bits of part of that throughout each part. But then the real comic starts out with the Red Hood gang, uh, four of the members plus the leader, attacking Bruce in the Wayne Manor. And they really blow the shit out of him. They just hit him with everything they got. They burn down the house. And Bruce just gets away in time to pass out right on the floor of the Wayne Manor in a different part where obviously it's not burned down. And... Before that happens, the Red Hood gang basically just says that the death of Wayne's parents basically is what motivated them to help the city, is that at least is what they're thinking they're doing. So, obviously they think they killed Bruce Wayne, and obviously he just got away, just in time for Alfred to stitch him back up. In the last issue, they did have a fight, but Alfred said something emotional, saying, I'm always here for you, no matter what we do, I'll always stitch you up. So... Obviously, that happens, and Bruce just goes, walks away. And before that, we get, we do a little cutaway with the Riddler. And the Riddler is about to get shot, and basically right here, we notice how smart the Riddler really is. We always know he's always five sets ahead. He's always ahead of everyone else. So he's about to get shot. He says the codename, Kane, and basically, the man who's about to shoot him gets... I don't really understand if it's electrocuted or something, but he just passes out and dies. So we do understand that the Riddler really does know what he's saying. But before the man fully dies, he's on the floor unconscious, or not unconscious, but you know, he's in pain. He just says, what's the point in you being like so special if no one knows who you are? You're just leaving an empty question mark. And the Riddler just says, goodbye, Philip." So I love that. I think that's, you know... I really love how they're focusing on the Riddler. I think he is one of my favorite Batman characters, so I love how he's like five steps ahead, but Batman's always one step more ahead of him. And it's pretty interesting. So once we get a cutaway, you know, I talked about how Alfred is stitching up Batman. Batman slowly walks away, you know, obviously already beat up. And it's sort of like the scene from Batman Begins. He's just sitting on that. He's uh, sorry, he has a rock. He's just putting it against a statue of his dad. He's saying... I need my calling. I thought I knew what to do. He just, he needs that thing. And he says, show me. And he's, he's holding this rock, and I don't know, it just, it just starts glowing. And he just sees, he opens the window, everything becomes sort of like a bat cave. And I guess bats just fly in. And he's like, yes, I see. I will become a bat. And I love that. I, I just smiled and... The whole artwork is amazing. The whole, where he was sitting, that whole room turns into a bat cave. He drops the ball he was holding, it crashes. The last scene is, all you see was a bat just sniffing right over his head. And I love it. And it's, I just think, it's, the next issue is called Birth of a Legend. So far, this is my favorite part of Zero Year. I thought it was amazing. I just, I cannot wait until... Like, when he just becomes Batman, the first suit, like we saw in part one. It's amazing. And I usually don't talk about uh, the after comic, but I actually will this time. It's about Batman fighting in the northwest of Norway. So, it's just one of his missions, and basically he's in a pit, you know, about ten feet down. And the princess, or the master, keeps on throwing um, people in there to fight Bruce. And Bruce has, you know, the long hair, he looks amazing, he just keeps on fighting. And the, and the princess says, or I don't know, princess or master says, you must kill the, per the people to win. You can't win a fight or a war without killing. And he just says, you know, yes I can, yes I can. So what she does, she just throws about 15 people in there and he beats everyone up to a pulp. And he's just fainting and he's like, and the princess is like, throw more people in. And they just said, no, we're not going in. He's some sort of demon. And I, I just loved this. This is the best, like, this is my favorite comic so far I, out of Zero Year. It's amazing. It's just, they're just explaining how Bruce doesn't need to kill. He just needs to sh put, 
fear into everyone. He's and they're just the last thing is they're afraid. Everyone is afraid of Batman. Everyone is afraid of Bruce. No one's gonna want to come up against him besides the Joker a billion times because he's afraid. So I give this comic a 9.5 out of 10. I loved it. Now, if you're wondering what deserves a 10 out of 10, well, it's really hard to get a 10 out of 10, but definitely deserves 9.5 out of 10. The after story, same thing. I loved it. I don't know how you won't like this story. If you liked it, please leave the comment section down below why you liked it, and I definitely suggest you pick it up, and it was amazing. I can't wait to review part four, and thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and stay sexy.